Yes, I know what you're thinking. This is poorly drawn. Please pardon me. I don't really have the equipment I'm supposed to use to draw this neatly. Now, we are asked to find the area of the shaded portion, right? And these three circles are unit circles. It simply means that the radius of each of them is equal to one. So that means that from here to here is equal to one, right? Then this one too, from here to here is equal to one. That the radius of the circle is one. So from here to here should be one. Then from here to here is one. From here to here is one. From here to here is one. I don't know if you understand. So that means that, let me draw what we have here now. If I should join this variable. So for, <laughs> forgive my drawing, oh God. So this is what we have. So let me draw out the triangle and analyze. Okay, so from here to here is one, from here to here is one. Here and here. So from here to here should be two, right? The same thing from here to here should be two. And from here to here should be two as well. So you can see that we have an equilateral triangle. Yes, we have an equilateral triangle. Now the question say we should find the area of this shaded portion. How do we do that? We are going to find the area of this shaded portion in this way. First of all, we are going to find the area of everything. That is the area of this triangle. Remember that the shaded portion is inside this triangle. Okay, so this is like the shaded portion. Let's say this is the shaded portion, this place. So we need to get the area of everything. All the triangle, all the triangle. Now, area of a triangle is half base times height. Okay, so area of a triangle is half base times height. Let me stand here so that I can maximize my board. Well, so I will redraw this into something smaller. So this is what we have. We have a triangle, an equilateral triangle of size two, two cm ish. All right excuse me yeah so if we draw a straight line okay this is what a right angle triangle since from here to here this straight line is supposed to divide this side into two equal parts okay forget the drawing all right so that means this is one and this is one now we are asked to find the area of this triangle remember that area is half base times height now this is our height you notice that the height is unknown we don't really know the height so how do we get the height remember the um pythagoras theorem that states that if you want to get the product of the square okay let me add do it this way the pythagoras theorem states that if you have a right angle triangle okay this is your hypotenuse right and this is your other side so let's call this a b and let's call the hypotenuse c the pythagoras theorem states that the Pyth the hypotenuse which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared that is what the pythagoras theorem states which i know we are all familiar with that yes so back to the equation if we take this part of this triangle it simply means because we really want to get our head so that we can substitute it into this particular formula right yeah so it simply means that two squared right is equal to one squared plus h squared okay yeah so we have two squared is four is equal to one squared is one plus h squared so when this plus one crosses it becomes minus one so we have four minus one is equal to h squared four minus one is three so we have three is equal to h squared so to get the value of h we take square root of both sides so we have square root of three is equal to square root of h squared so this will cancel this we have that our h is going to be the positive root of three right yes because you cannot say it's negative root now we have gotten our hash now let's go back and get the area of the triangle remember that the area is half multiplied by base multiplied by height now this is the whole triangle so the area should be half multiplied by the base is one plus one the whole of this place which is two multiplied by height our height is what we got as root three okay divided by one divided by one just to make them just to make them a fraction. All right, let's continue. Now, this will divide itself to give us one. So, it means that the area of the triangle is root 3 centimeters squared. So, we have gotten the area of this whole triangle. Now, the area of this place can be gotten in this form. Remember that if you look at this diagram now, okay, 
this diagram, this particular portion you are seeing in each of these circle is a sector of a circle. So, perhaps I'm going to copy the root area of the triangle. I write it somewhere so I can clean the board. Okay, so we have area to be root three centimeter squared. Okay, I actually saw this question somewhere and feel to like I should share it with you, my subscribers. Okay, so this is it. Now remember that this is the sector of a circle. Now for each of this circle, let's find the area of the sector. Area of the sector. Now I'm going to explain why. Area of the sector. Okay, one sector. Now why are we doing that? Remember that we have this as our triangle, all right? And this is part of the circle, right? All these are the sectors, one, two, three. And this is the whole triangle. Now, this is where we are looking for the shaded portion. To get the area of this shaded portion, we need to get the area of this whole triangle, which we have gotten, let's call it C. We are going to minus the area of this, this, yeah, the sum of this and this and this. If we get the area of these sectors and add them together, all right? When we get the area of these sectors and add them together, let's call it S. If we say the area of this whole triangle, C, minus the area of the sum of these tri uh, sectors, S, we are going to get the area of the shaded portion. Hope you now understand what I'm doing, okay? So let's first of all get the area of the sector. Now, area of a sector is theta divided by 360 times pi r squared. Now, theta is the angle of this sector. Now look at this sector. Remember that this is what? An equilateral triangle. This is an equilateral triangle of 2, 2, 2. And the angle in an equilateral triangle, angles, all the angles are equal as well and they are equal to 60. So that means this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, this is 60 degrees, okay? So that means that each of these has 60 degrees as their angle, okay? That is the meaning. So theta here is going to be 60 degrees, yes. So we go ahead to do that. So we have area is equal to 60 divided by 360 times pi times our radius. Remember that this, they are unit circles. So the radius, we are just looking for one, right? The radius is one, radius one, okay? So times one, all squared. So area is, this we divide itself one, divide the six to give us six. So it's going to be one over six times pi, which is equal to pi over six. That is what area of the sector. But remember that we have three, three sectors, one, two, three. So the area of the three sectors now, area of the three sectors will be pi divided by six times three, right? Mm -hmm. Over one. Now three divide itself to give us one, divide six to give us two. So we have that, this implies that area of the three sectors is pi over two, pi over two. Amazing, right? Now, let us go ahead and get the area of the shaded portion. Now, the area of the shaded portion is now simple. It's going to be the area of the triangle minus the area of the three sectors, right? So, permit me to claim this. So, area of the shaded portion, area of the shaded portion will be equal to area of the triangle minus area of the, the three sectors, okay? So, we have area of the triangle. Remember, we got root three minus area of the three sectors is pi over two. So this is equal to, this sentence as root three over one, which can be written as root three times two divided by one times two, all right, minus pi over two. I want to get them to have the same denominator, okay? So this is equal to root three times two is root <coughs> Root 3 times 2 is 2 root 3, sorry, divided by 2 minus pi divided by 2, okay? So write this as 2 root 3 minus pi, everything divided by 2 is centimeter squared. So this is going to give us the area of this shaded portion. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.